congratulations on the show uh bittersweet i'm sure as it's coming to uh to uh to an end but uh i mean it, it, it's it's gone great guns for you all you must be uh delighted with with how it's gone and how it's been received uh tim maybe i'll start with you were you expecting the show to to kind of hit as it has it has i'm i hope it has i'm that's good um <laughs> As I, 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 I try and stay away from all of that stuff a bit, but um, yeah, I, it's, it, it, it has an anarchy at its center, which I think is quite um, intriguing and fun, and fun for the audience to sort of ride along with. So uh, yeah, well, I'm glad if it has, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And Abigail, for you, I mean, are you, the, are you similar that you haven't, you've kind of been in the bubble of, uh, of the show and not seen the reactions or are you, have, you, have you got a sense now that people are, are enjoying it and are sad that it's coming to an end? Sure, I guess a little bit. I guess we film it when we're filming it. It's so intense and it is such a bubble. So that's the focus. And then once we're finished, it's kind of not up to us anymore. And it's just out there. So it's good to hear that people have enjoyed it. And um, yeah, it's, it's crazy that it's coming to an end. Yeah, it's very been a long sad. time. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. You've been yeah. <laughs> well. At least you brought the cold with you. You know, Canada's cold, but Liverpool is not much warmer, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, Genevieve, I wanted to ask you about uh, kind of what was your initial appeal to to the story and to the characters because they've gone through such a journey together. I just wondered for you what it was about the initial story and the script when you first read it for the first time that kind of kind of lured you in. I think initially, a few years ago. Uh, uh, what I liked about it was that I didn't really know what it was. I, I really saw the potential for um, it, it to grow or to be really uh, something new or something innovative. So I, and I think that's what's happened with the piece. I think it's really taken some really interesting turns. I think that um, our writers and creators have been really brave with our um, character journeys. And I would say that actually, I think it's, it seemed to me that it had the potential as a piece to be character driven. And I feel like it's lived up to that. Yeah. And it's, it's one of those shows. The, the reason, one of the reasons I liked it is, is, is that it, it challenges the audience, but also keeps them, keeps them guessing at the same time. Uh, I just wonder for you guys, maybe starting with you, Tim, was it surprising when you read the script as you were going through that there was continuous kind of surprise and that the creators were taking it to places that maybe you didn't even expect? When, way, way, way back at the, you know, a million years ago, when I first read it, I read the first episode. I was uh, I was interested that they'd taken the risk of killing off a, a major character within the first episode, and that 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 uh, spurned their journey, spawned their journey, I should say. Um, I thought that that was intriguing. I thought that, uh, and then with up to a certain point, you know, as we were moving forward improvisation was kind of became uh, a tool that we used and then it got then that that kind of uh expanded as we got through season two and then we uh, finally uh kind of wrapped up the, the journey in, in three but it, it was that the characters are, are anarchic themselves that what that's what drew me to it but the process is, is was equally anarchic uh, and that was at times exhausting but at other times fulfilling yeah yeah i don't know um, if that answers your question at no, no all. it's 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 good no, it's all good it's all good stuff <laughs> uh, i wanted to uh, abigail i wanted to ask you about anna i mean obviously in the, not to give too much away people haven't seen it season two is obviously things happen were you surprised at just where her story was was going and when when you read it for the first time did you get the same shock that i'm sure a lot of audiences did when when certain things transpire yeah definitely i think when i read back when i auditioned for it and i read uh the first episode of season one it's kind of exactly what jen and tim were saying it was such a loud start <laughs> and um it was really yeah like nothing i'd really read before and i didn't know where it was going to go um but yeah it's been such a it's been such a pleasure to be able to play a character for so long and um really stretch her out and by the third season all of us knew our characters so so well that we could really play around with them and take risks and yeah that's been something that i feel really lucky to have been able to do and um yeah, the, the scripts were developing and changing 
all the time. Um, so it kept everyone on their toes and it meant there was room for, um, yeah, playing around and experimenting. But uh, yeah, it was a, like Tim said, it was, what did you say, an anarchic? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It was, um, <laughs> I, the process was that. Yeah, but it was yeah. fun. <laughs> and Genevieve, for you, I mean, uh, uh, your character equally does have uh, a fantastic uh, strand throughout the the series. But it was a question that Abigail just kind of mentioned uh, about playing a character for for quite a long period of time, in that you can't they kind of seep into you, don't they? They kind of seep into your into your performance and also into into you as a person. I, I wonder, has has she left a mark on you? Do you think she's left an indelible mark on you? forevermore uh i hope so um i think abigail is right it was a great pleasure to have so so many hours that i could work on this or or live with this uh character and i think what was so fulfilling by the end was that i feel like i got to know her i think sometimes you can work on a piece and you know, dig and delve and, and, and you go, oh, I, I wonder, did I find them? I wonder, did I get them? But I think I really got Angela by the end. And I was cur I was really curious about her that I, um, in around about season two, I was like, come on, who is she? Where is she from? Why is this? I had so many whys. And I think by the, by the time season three wrapped, I feel like I, I got to really understand her. So yeah, I think she lived with me a little bit like, um, a lot of characters do. I mean, I was happy to say goodbye. I mean, she's mental. <laughs> but, uh, no, she's great. She's great. <laughs> and also, uh, coming into season three, you're bringing it, bringing it back to to England with 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 Liverpool. Liverpool being quite a buzzy town at the minute, given the that they're Premier League and European champions. Um, Tim, I wondered if you knew how it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy. Are you? You no, like I said easy, like as in oh. easy, Tiger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I just wondered yeah. for you what it was like to come to bring the show back to to the UK, given that you spent all this time in Canada and you kind of built up a your own little world over there, and it was kind of you were kind of I guess you know away from you know London and everything else. I just wonder what it was like to bring it back to to Liverpool and have a different kind of setting for it. It felt it felt right. It, it came from um, not the Liverpool of it necessarily, but the i the the idea for the for the um third season came from a something that jen said which was why are they on the back foot isn't it about time that they got on the attack and th there was the you know you can attack locally which was the canadian sort of wilderness but what about if they go home to deal with you know that's that was the that was the sort of impetus for it, it was something that jen came jen came up with um over coffee i think and then um i i pushed for liverpool in its it, in the it's it's somewhere that I'd filmed that I'd really enjoyed filming in. I'd done a thing called Reg ages ago and we'd shot there and I'd never shot there before. And I thought it's a, such a diverse place, such a wild place. It has a, 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 a anarchic and comedic culture in a sense. I know that's a stereotype, but it's true. And so, and also an access to the Irish kind of element as well, you know, across the water and so on. So, you know, the, the idea of, uh, of Liverpool seemed like a good, um, a good hub for that, for that family. And, uh, and then you could populate it with a wild, a wild uh, group of characters, not just yeah. ours. So. Yeah, absolutely. It does work though. I've only seen the first episode, but it really, it really, it really adds a new dimension it's, to it's it. It's also beautiful. Liverpool yeah, yeah, is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, just before my time runs up, my final question to uh, Abigail and to Genevieve as a, as a kind of the mother daughter dynamic of of the show. Are you, are you going to miss kind of the dynamic between the two of you, not just the characters, but the dynamic between the two of you? Are you going to miss that? Because on screen, you guys are, are fantastic together and there's a real kind of great relationship there, despite all the all the stuff that's going on around them. Uh, maybe Abigail, I'll start with you. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think. I think we've all, uh, yeah, I think it was really important for Jen and I to display that on screen in season three in particular, the relationship between Angela and Anna and how that develops and how they're two, they're not, well, obviously they're mother daughter, but the relationship is two adults and um, that was really important for us. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to miss the dynamic. I'll miss the dynamic between all of us. I think we've gotten to know each other really, really well over the last four years and yeah, it'd be strange not to go back to that, like um, like we have been. But that was definitely a really important 
part of what I wanted anyway for this season. So I'm glad that it's you've noticed that. That's really good. Yeah. And Genevieve, <laughs> for you? Yeah, I'm 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 thrilled that um that you mentioned that actually. Um I think I was saying at the in the midst of all the chaos, in the midst of the anarchy, like Tim was saying, at the center of it is a little family and uh, a little broken family and a very beautiful family. And um, our time together was very special and our relationship, the three of us, was very special. I'm really grateful that they, uh, that our creators allowed space for Anna to be to grow up and to be a young brilliant woman and her abs and I got to play scenes together where we were two women uh, yes mother daughter but obviously with her strength as a woman and that was a joy to to reach in that final um series uh season sorry and um yeah I will like Ab said I will miss them i will miss going back to them but we'll always have it you'll always have it that's what i was about to say you'll always have <laughs> you'll always have liverpool and canada together uh guys thank you so much for your time absolute pleasure and good luck with uh with the season i hope it goes well for you thank you take care, thank you. cheers take care ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.